I have frozen antifreeze in my trailer. Now think about that. Antifreeze and it's frozen. Should I be concerned about this? Stick around and you'll get that answer. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to grow your knowledge around trucks towing and all things RV and camping related, start now by subscribing and click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Hey folks, welcome back to Life on Our Time. So this whole thing with the antifreeze freezing in my trailer, I needed to get to the bottom of this. So I decided to do a bit of an experiment. So I want to actually get the same antifreeze that I use to winterize our trailer and go through a bit of an experiment with that. So I went out and I bought the exact same product that I'd used in the fall to winterize our trailer. And I purchased three measuring cups that are graduated. So my goal here is to take three of these. One of them I'm going to put 100% water in it. And we all know what's going to happen with that. The second one I want to do a 50% mix of water and antifreeze. And the third one I'm going to do 100% antifreeze and see what we end up with. The two things I'm looking for is if it does freeze, how hard it does freeze. Because remember in the video I did, I'll post a link up here, which was the walkthrough of my winter visit of our RV. And with that was the discovery of frozen antifreeze. And it was more like a slush that I, as I dug at it, it did slush up. The other part of this is with expansion. We know the water is going to expand. Water expands about 10%. But does the RV antifreeze expand? Because if it freezes but does not expand, I won't be concerned with that. So let's go inside and get at this experiment. So this one we're going to do just water. This one is going to be 100% plumbing antifreeze. And this one is going to be a 50-50 mix of the antifreeze and water. I'll fill all of these to the four and a half ounce line starting with the water next one is 100% antifreeze and for this final one will be 50-50 mix of water and antifreeze I'm doing four and a half in the other ones, so I'll do two and a quarter of antifreeze and two and a quarter of water. And finish the top up to four and a half. just to confirm that they are all as exact as I can get them. The bottom of the meniscus is at the four and a half ounce level. And give that a quick little mix. And the next stop is the deep freezer. I have the three of them in the deep freeze now. As you can see, I did put them in Ziploc bags. My fear is that if they do start to freeze and if any of them split the glass, I didn't want any of that leaking through our food in the deep freeze. So we'll leave these things in here to cool off for 24 hours and we'll come back and see what we've got. So it's been about 36 hours. Let's get down to the deep freeze and see how things turned out. I have my temperature gun and we'll take some measurements when we open up the deep freeze. Okay. Well, they all do look like they're frozen. This one's 100% antifreeze. And, uh, yep. Oh. <laughs> frozen, but not maybe entirely. So let's take them upstairs and let's do some measurements. The well, temperature's around minus 16. Celsius, which is about 2 Fahrenheit. So here's the three of them. I just took them out of the Ziploc bags. And it is pretty obvious, just looking at them, that um, the water 
just water is completely solid and as you can see it, it has expanded almost to the five ounce mark so as you'd expect with water water expands when it freezes now we'll jump over to this one this was our 50 50 mix and as you can see it has expanded beyond the four and a half ounce mark it's a little more than halfway between the four and a half and the five and over here with our 100 percent antifreeze it's still sitting at four and a half so let's check the consistency so for consistency water is completely frozen the 50 50 mix well it's expanded some but it is still a bit slushy and then with our straight antifreeze so it is it has slushed but it's not as hard as it was in the video when I did the trailer inspection so in the trailer inspection it was a little more of the consistency of this one so I didn't quite get the results I was expecting with this our upright deep freeze runs about minus 13 to about minus 16 Celsius and it just might not be replicating the cold enough temperature that the RV has been experiencing so just to recap this experiment with 100% water we saw expansion from four and a half ounces up to five ounces fully expected no question we know that ice is about 90% the density of water that's why with icebergs when you see an iceberg 10% is out of the water 90% is underwater so that 10% expansion was bang on with the 50-50 mix we saw expansion from four and a half ounces up to 4.75 ounces so about halfway to the way where we did see it with straight water and that makes sense with a 50-50 mix with the 100% antifreeze I didn't quite get the slushy effect that I expected and I think it's either the deep freeze is not cold enough or I didn't leave it in long enough but again with the 50-50 mix and about 50% expansion of it I feel pretty confident that with the 100% antifreeze although it will gel up and it does slush up it does not expand and I did follow up this experiment with some research online and it is telling me that that it will create that slushy effect it freezes but not solid like straight water does so my next step is to take the 100% antifreeze redo it up in the cup I'm going to put it back in our deep freeze at the lowest point toward the back I'm going to let it run for about a week so in the meantime I am going to put this video together once I've completed that long-term experiment I'll add it to a pinned comment down below and you can check that out I hope you've enjoyed this video if so give us a thumbs up and if you want to continue to gain knowledge around all things RV and camp related make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so you have front row seats to all new videos Take care and I'll see you at the next video.